Hi, this is James Robinson. I'm the CEO of Robinson Speakers Bureau, founded in New York about 10 years ago. And over the last six weeks, we have been transitioning into the virtual event world. We see that going for quite a long time. I don't think that things are just gonna loosen up in October and we're all gonna start jumping back into live events, which is why we immediately bought virtualspeakers.com when we saw the onset and the damage to the economy the coronavirus was going to do. But today, I just want to put this video out there to show you all an example of what a virtual studio should look like. Obviously, you can see me on camera right now in a light shirt which matches the background. The background is actually in front of a very sunny window. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a linen cloth that I bought from Amazon. These are big, they're about seven feet across and I would say, actually they're 15 feet across and nine feet tall. And so they cost about $85 and it comes with, a, you know, you can find any frame to hold the proper backdrop. The light that I'm using is this light. I'm gonna slightly just show you here on the set. This is the light. These are great lights. I mean, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. They're used for, for uh, photography as well. Um, you can alter the color. Is that coming out? Oh no, sorry, that's the brightness. Um, you can alter the color too, watch. This is gonna go orange and then on my face, which is now orange, right? which looks a bit weird, but at night, it's much more natural looking if you go with a warmer tone. But usually when you're, you know, dealing with the sun, you definitely want a, a lighter, closer to a white light. Uh, the camera I'm using is a digital camera. It's not an iPhone. I, I think that iPhones are very good but they're very bad for video, especially in studios, because there's such a huge amount of distortion. People don't realize this, but when you're dealing with a 25, or sorry, 24 millimeter or a 35 millimeter lens, even a 50, if it's not quite the right distance, you're gonna have a lot of distortion in your face, and it just, that's why we always think, oh, I look terrible in that. It's because we simply don't recognize ourselves. So you need to have a good zoom lens. And right now I'm using a 24-105. It's set at about 75 millimeters, which is a, quite close to a natural. Uh, 85 is the go-to portrait photographer's lens. Once you, you could use a 135, which would make it even more lovely looking but at that point, the camera is so far away from you. I mean, we're discussing maybe 20 yards away. You're gonna have a really hard time speaking into that microphone because I have a microphone that is also, it's mounted on the hot shoe. The hot shoe is that little slidey metal bit on the top where you put an external flash, but I use a Rode shotgun microphone. The camera I'm using is a Canon EOS, R, which is their brand new digital camera that is now competing with Sony. Uh, they, they do cost a lot, so if you're on a slightly tight budget, I mean, I use my camera for photography. Uh, one of my huge passions in life is landscape photography. And I just got rid of my 6D and I bought this. And now it's just a wonderful camera to use in a studio. So it's mounted on a tripod, and you don't have to have a really crazy tripod. I, I do have a really good tripod simply because I use it next to stu uh, hugely windy cliff faces and beaches and you know hard weather, trying to capture those really dramatic scenes and landscape. But this kind of one light here, one light here, I have a, a glass door on this side. So I feel as though there's enough light on me right now. Um, but this is the kind of studio setup that I'm talking about 
in the article. You don't really have to do anything more. Of course, you can add extra lights and soft boxes and have a more dynamic background, but I like the plain background because your clothes will usually go with it. You want to keep your palette simple. You don't want to be facing, or you don't want to have a wall as a backdrop too much if there's paintings and posters and you know random personal memorabilia on there because it's it's you know it's it's lovely in your house but it just doesn't translate so well to film and that's one thing that you have to understand and a little bit of practice setting up a studio like this and you'll really become a great virtual speaker. I don't see this market changing for quite a while. Uh, so you should be taking this more seriously than I'm seeing a lot of speakers out there doing. The earbud with the laptop camera attached to a Zoom call with, you know, messy overhead lighting. It's just a scary look and the sound isn't very good and the image of you is warped. You really want to pay attention and focus on your equipment because the presentation is so important. Not just your content, but also the look and the sound. You have to separate yourself. So I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions, please email me info at robinsonspeakers.com or info at virtualspeakers.com because we are in the market to own this space and I'll be back in touch with more tips, tricks, techniques and helpful information in the coming videos. Thanks for listening.